Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, all judges, ladies, and gentlemen. My name is Mafaza. I'm a grade 5 student in primary global summer school, Jusufang. We all know that Indonesia has a wonderful archipelago with thousands of islands. Today, I'd like to show everyone the island of Sumatra. Do you see this lake? and the little island in the north part of Sumatra? Yeah, it's Lake Toba with Somerset Island in the middle. <clears throat> it's linked to a story that's been retold for years to children, entitled The Origin of Lake Toba and Somerset Island. Now listen carefully because I'm going to tell you that story. Long, long ago in a valley in Sumatra, there lived a farmer named Toba. He was a hard-working farmer, but unfortunately, his harvest was not always bountiful. He often went starving. Due to his starvation, Toba decided to go fishing in the river. He waited for a long time for his fishing line to shake and became desperate. When Toba was just about to leave the river, something suddenly tugged on his fishing line. Wow, that's a big catch! Toba had caught a large gold fish. Toba immediately brought the fish home to cook. But unfortunately, Toba forgot that all of his firewood had been used up. So he placed the fish in a basin and went to look for some firewood. Back from collecting firewood, Toba immediately wanted to cook the fish. But when he wanted to take the fish, he was shocked. The fish had vanished, and instead, the basin was full of gold. Where is my fish, and whose gold is this? Then, when he opened the door of his room, he was once again shocked. There was a beautiful woman combing her long hair in front of a mirror. Hey, who are you? Oh, hi. I'm the incarnation of the fish you caught earlier. The golden pieces were my scales. I was cursed by the gods to be a fish, but thanks to you, the curse is now broken. I see. Then Toba thought to himself, this woman is great. I wish I could marry her. Apparently, the woman could read Toba's mind. I'd like to marry you, but I have one condition. Oh, what's the condition? If we get married later, never bring up my origins as a fish. Otherwise, terrible things will happen. Well, that's easy. Deal. Toba and the woman finally married and had a child. Toba named the child Samosir. Samosir grew into a playful and mischievous child. Toba tried to be patient with Samosir's behavior. Whenever Toba worked in the fields, Samosir didn't want to deliver the food to him. In the end, it was Toba's wife who delivered the food. My wife, we can't spoil Samosir forever. He needs to learn to behave. Be patient, my husband. One day, he will change. I've been patient enough. Let's just hope my patience doesn't run out soon. One day, Toba's wife finally persuaded Samosir to deliver the food to his dad. At first, Samosir refused, but his mother continued to nag at him. And finally, Samosir agreed. Fine, I'll take the food to dad. But on his way, Samosir played with his friends instead. And after playing, he felt hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Aha, I'll eat this food. Samosir then ate the food that was supposed to be for his father and left him only a little portion. In the fields, Toba couldn't wait any longer. He was starving. In the distance, Samosir came running. Where have you been, Samosir? I've been waiting for you for a long time. Samosir immediately gave the food to his father. But when Toba opened the container, he was shocked to find only the leftovers. Hey, Samosir, did you eat my food? You've gone too far this time. 
Hobo's wrath couldn't be controlled. Without realizing it, he had broke the promise he made to his wife. You naughty fish child! Toba hit Samosir until he cried, and Samosir ran back to the house. Mom, help! At home, Samosir told everything to his mom. Mom, Dad said that I'm the son, child of a fish. Is it true that I'm the son of a fish? What? Your dad said that? How could he break our promise? Toba's wife felt sad and disappointed because Toba had broke their promise. She then told Samosir to run up the hill. Samosir, quick, run up the hill. But why? Just do exactly as I say. Okay, Mom. Suddenly, the sky turned dark and lightning struck. A flood appeared from the river. Toba's wife jumped towards the tide and became a fish again. Toba, who was working in the field, was shocked to see the flood coming towards him. What's this water? Why is this happening? Ah! He didn't have time to escape. Toba drifted off and sank into the flood. Soon, the surge of water flooded the entire valley and left only the top of the hill where Samosir was hiding. The flood had created a lake, and Samosir became an island. That's why the lake is named Lake Toba and, Samosir was, and the island called Samosir. The moral of this story that we can take is to never let our emotions get the better of us. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you all enjoyed it. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.